In this tutorial, we are going to show a solved example on Sobel edge detection using this input image and the Sobel kernels, the kernel of the x direction and the kernel of the y direction. And we will apply the algorithm on this region of the image. So let's see the example. So we will start by getting the ix and to be able to get the ix using the Sobel kernel of the x direction we will put the pixel in the center of the kernel on the first required pixel in the region which is 6. So negative 1 will be on 10, 0 will be on 9, 1 will be on 9, negative 2 on 0, 0 on 6, 2 on 6, negative 1 on 5, 0 on 9 and 1 on 8. Now we will multiply and add. 10 by negative 1 plus 9 by 0 plus 9 by 1 plus 0 by negative 2 plus 6 by 0 plus 6 by 2 plus 5 by negative 1 plus 9 by 0 plus 8 by 1. This will result in 14 like this. And we will do the same for the second pixel which is 6. Again we will put the center of the kernel which is 0 on the 6. So negative 1 will be on 9, 0 on 9. 1 on 4, negative 2 on 6, 0 on 6, 2 on 2, negative 1 on 9, 0 on 8, and 1 on 4. Again, we will multiply and add 9 by negative 1, plus 9 by 0, plus 4 by 1, plus 6 by negative 2, plus 6 by 0, plus 2 by 2, plus 9 by negative 1, plus 8 by 0, plus 4 by 1. This will result in negative 18 like this, and so on for all pixels in the highlighted region like this. Okay? So after getting ix, we will get iy like this, and to be able to get iy, we will use the Sobel kernel in the y direction, and we will do the same steps. So we will put the center of the kernel, which is the zero pixel, on the first required pixel in the highlighted region, which is 6. So 1 will be on 10, 2 on 9, 1 on 9, 0 on 0, 0 on 6, 0 on 6, negative 1 on 5, negative 2 on 9, and negative 1 on 8. And again, we will multiply and add 10 by 1, plus 9 by 2, plus 9 by 1, plus 0 by 0, plus 0 by 6, plus 6 by 0, plus 5 by negative 1, plus 9 by negative 2, plus 8 by negative 1. And this will result in 6 like this. And we will do the same steps for all pixels in the highlighted region like this. Okay? Now after getting ix and iy, we will get the magnitude matrix like this. And to be able to get the magnitude matrix, we will do the following. 14 power 2 plus 6 power 2 under square root, this will give you approximately 15 like this. Again, negative 18 power 2 plus 2 power 2 under square root, this will give you approximately 18 like this. Again, negative 22 power 2 plus negative 2 power 2 under square root, this will give you 22 like this. 10 power 2 plus negative 4 power 2 under square root, this will give you 11 like this, and so on for other pixels. Now, after getting the magnitude matrix like this, we will get the threshold, and based on this threshold, we will determine the edge pixels. So, to be able to get the threshold, we will get the average of these numbers. 15 plus 18 plus 22 plus 11 plus 15 plus 16 plus 5 plus 12 plus 17 divided by 9, which is the number of these numbers since we have 9 numbers like this. Okay? This will give you approximately 15, which is the threshold. Now, reaching the final step to be able to get the edge matrix, we will do the following. Using the magnitude matrix and the threshold, which is equal to 15, if the number is greater than the threshold which is equal 15, this will be equal to 1, meaning that it is an edge. Otherwise, it will be equal to 0, meaning that it is not an edge. 15 is not greater than the threshold which is equal to 15, so it will be equal to 0. 18 is greater than 15, so it will be equal to 1. 22 is greater than 15, so it will be equal to 1. 11 is not greater than 15, so it will be 0, and so on for other pixels. So this is the final output, the final edge matrix.